Welcome back to this all-female edition of NHL Now. We are so excited. We do a lot of cool demos in this rink, but nothing ever quite like this. We've got the Lamoureux sisters in the house, and maybe you heard they just came back from Pyeongchang with a gold medal around their neck, and a lot of it was thanks to Monique's game-tying goal in the gold medal game, and also Jocelyn's sick shootout move to win gold for Team USA. So. Without further ado, let's see those moves, ladies. And really, we were looking for a goalie. Maddie Rooney, unfortunately, was busy. So we thought, who else could be a goalie? Well, turns out Kevin Weeks is willing to lend a hand, even though it is a ladies' show. We are well happy to welcome stick in our twin. No, no. The, stick tap, the stick tap is to them. That's All who the right. stick tap is to. Congrats, though, by the way, ladies. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome stuff. What let's, a game. Let's oh, see. Goodness. Let's get to the ice. Take it away. All right. OK, ladies, so you just let me know what you need. Uh, I think we're supposed to demo the goal. So, okay. Um, you just have to set up like you're taking a penalty shot. Yeah, so just get in there and be a tender is what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, wait. Get in there and stop the puck. That's yeah. it, right? But I, I won't be able to against them. Go for the fakes. Right, okay, no problem. All right. So, you can walk us through it. I'll get set up, but you go ahead and walk us through it whenever you're ready, okay? So I actually, I think it was Bobby Gepfert talking yes. about switching up uh, the timing of shooters, and so I went, I went after Niter, and she shot it. So when I came, and Kessel shot it, and Kessel shot it. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to come in and take my time, and so I'd taken a few inside edges, and then by the time I got here, open up the blade, get the goalie to pause, kind of went this way. <laughs> And it ended about like that. Yes. Now, now here's the thing, though. That move, it was silky, but it was also acceleration. There was also the pump fake. There was like a heavy, violent, athletic pump fake, too. So take us through your thought process on the move. I know I've read about it, yep. uh, watched it over and over, but t take us through your thought process on that move when you're coming in. So I had, I had full intention of faking the shot, so... When I come in here, yeah. I want the goalie to just pause. If they go down, great, but right. at least like dig their heels in a bit. Right. And then when I bring it back here, I gotta get your weight back over. Hand, but right. You gotta get your weight back to this foot. Get your hands outside that left foot. Sure. So, but if you, you get to here, if they're not sliding, you can tap beat them, them backhand. backhand. But if you give it hard enough back here, and then you can slide it. Either way. See, that's exactly what happened, because at least from, and watching it anyway, from the couch. So I'm just going to bring my couch analysis. <laughs> but the initial pump fake, the leg fake, the Zach Parisi slash your move, <laughs> that's the one. That's the one that I thought uh, Shannon Sabados bought, bit on, rather, initially. And then the other fake, by the time you brought it over, and then by the time you brought it back, it was done. One of the big done. key is um, getting, like, with playing women's hockey, we sure. don't have the reach that professional, that NHLers have. And uh -huh. so to really get the width to get from post to post and then to start, you can't start the move too late. Otherwise, you're right on top of the goal and you're not going to get the space. So you have to, the timing of it and then being able to transfer your weight to get back and forth to, to get that space is, I think, to have that much open space in a, in a goal like that and that, and that amount of pressure is... That's crazy. Pretty amazing. <laughs> That's crazy. Beyond amazing. Okay, so some great points by both of you. But we've got a lot of boys and girls that watch. A lot of the young players that are growing up, young ladies, young boys that are playing. One thing that I know is essential to success is being a good skater. Both of you can skate the lights out. Tell us how skating helped you be who you are, be where you are on your both your goals, actually, and how skating came into play. Well, I, th I think for us, when we joined the national team, that was probably the biggest improvement that we needed to make because mm. we had a ten we had and still do sometimes have a tendency to get wide tracked. Right. And when you're doing that, you can't move your feet. And so something that we've worked on pretty tirelessly over the last probably four years is being able to just move your feet in tight areas, ch stop and start and change direction quickly and just be being more deceptive and being able to, instead of being so north-south, which I think we used to be, is be, be all four directions. And so that's something that we've really worked on. And you're, even when you're at the top of your game, there's always improvements to be made. And no one can ever be the best, the best skater without ever working on it. So that's something that we've really dedicated our time to in the last four years. Great points by you. What about on your end? Yeah, I mean. Because you, you talked about the inside edges, right, on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so maybe you can break that down a little bit. 
of how important that is in your skating. Well, you just, I mean, speed kills. Right. I look at Connor McDavid, Sidney Crosby, the best players in the NHL, they, they can all skate. They're mm -hmm. all great skaters. And so, I mean, if you watch our team, like Kendall Coyne, she's so explosive and can get from zero to 20 in a second and two strides. And so just being able to, you know, explode out of tight spaces, but then work within tight spaces is it. That's what's going to get you to the next level, and that's what each level. Everything is just faster, and no so doubt. being able to to play at a top speed, but then have a top end skill set at top speed is what separates uh, people from the next level. And there you have it. There's some great insights by the Golden Girls, the Lamaru sisters. But we're going to add a different dimension to this now because we don't want you to just stand around and kind of pose. <laughs> We know, we want you to get in here and get, get some shots going. Keep in mind, I'm not wearing any lower protection. Right. So that's a disclaimer, okay? Uh, for men and, men and women, I'm not wearing lower protection right now, so I'm gonna do my best, but you can go ahead and take some shots. I, I mean, maybe we can do some glove, low blocker, what do you want? Well, Who's shooting? Well, we know that you're a big advocate um, of yeah. like teaching about the RVH and VH, and so one of the things that I think we've really focused on is how women play it a lot differently just because they don't have the height that the, the Ben Bishop has. Sure. And so when they drop into their RVH, you usually... Um, See the, some space? Yeah, you, yeah. It, in order to cover that top corner, a goalie has to really lean to get up there. Mm -hmm. And in, in doing that, you can give up the far side and usually you can get rebounds or really work around the net um, mm -hmm. to get goalies off balance. So one of, one of the things our brother, uh, Phil, who's a goalie, taught yep. us... So, so you want me around. RVH or you want me VH right now? RVH, please. RVH, I love this. They know what's up. <laughs> yep. There's goalie. There's goalie in the blood here. Paddle down. Paddle right. down, please. Yep. So one thing, if you know, like goalies that have strong paddles or they have the stick play, sometimes just throwing it off their stick initially just to get the puck out front. So right. a little self pass. Right Knowing if you have a teammate that's coming, right. going to the net or crash. Smart. The net. Um, usually you don't see women um, a lot of goals off wraps just uh -huh. because we don't te usually have the reach that men can do to get around the net. But right. if you're coming around the net, one thing that we've worked on is really getting our, our that inside leg as a in there as a base to get the space or to kind of makes the goalie hard to establish their position. Right. So even if you get here and then can get it off that far pad, right. or if you can get another stride and get it to that far side, just so it'll be, if you're, if you got your body in there, right. get them off balance a I little like bit, this. then it's harder for them to get to that far post. So you're either maybe scoring a goal or at least creating traffic and getting a rebound in front. These are some deep insights right here. Now, what if you're a little bit further out? Because one thing we've seen, Anybody not named Jonathan Quick? Again, anybody not named Jonathan Quick, the human superhero. We don't know what he's doing. <laughs> that's going down, exactly. That's going down in RVH too early. And maybe staying down in the RVH too long, if you're a little bit further out, what are you seeing? So, for example, if that goalie's RVHing. Here, I'll get out of the way. Yeah, if, if, if you could just pull it over a touch this way. Yeah, perfect. And that goalie's still locked in an RVH. What are you thinking? You're a righty, but what are you thinking yep. here? So if they're if they're dropping early yeah. and they're kind of getting a little methodical with how they're moving around their pipes sure. right by their ears. So Eric Carlson last night. Yeah, I, Eric I Carlson got one last. Bring it this been way. Able Bring it. To see an NHL game in like three weeks. Understandable. But I'm sure Carlson did that. He got one last night against Grubauer yeah. in your exact same thing yeah. that you're talking about. So Grubauer was here, if I remember correctly. He was kind of yep. like here. Yep. And then if you're, especially if you're on your strong side, right. being able to zip it right up here or just right by their head, basically. Sure. Shoot or right if, you're, if your seal's not tight, right. here, the spot right there. Right Some goalies here. flip their glove over. Right. Depend, like, just depends Some guys are goalies. here. Some will flip it over. Some so guys are spot, here. But if you're in tight and you have, if you're just looking to get a quick shot on that and you have a pretty poor angle, sometimes that spot just between their pad and their glove, if it's not a tight seal, you can kind of squeeze one in there sometimes if they're, not on their on their post too tight. I like this. I like this breakdown. This great breakdowns right here, Jane. I mean, I just want to see them just fire pucks at you. I, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you're a great goalie, but I don't know. These two, we've got gold medalists in the we house. We do have gold medalists That's in the house. That's so awesome. Ladies, thanks so much. That no. was so informative, and I hope everyone out there watching learned a lot. I know I did.